was supposed to be the exit, but it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with Whoa. them forever. I have to agree with them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that light was really hurting me because I could already feel my controller vibrating just by getting touched by it once. So I was going to heal, but let's try again. This time I'm just going to sprint. Uh, that was supposed to be the exit, but it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with them forever. I have to agree with them. Don't be afraid. Oh, I got really hurt. Yeah, I'm red. I could feel my controller going th thump, th thump, th thump. Um, yeah, definitely an ampule situation. Is this room upside down? Looks like I'm walking on lights, yeah. Wait, 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 don't tell me it's happening again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I escaped the red stuff, and now there's a monster. Safe up here? No time to start playing around with stuff like this. No, not safe. Is this not where I'm supposed to go? Felt like it, but. God, there's even an arrow pointing here. I'm supposed to do something here, aren't I? Okay, I'm safe from those other things. Ah. Col this column here, wouldn't that work? Wouldn't that work? Work for what? Am I supposed to use something on it? I still have that perfume. <laughs> I still have these Shakespeare anthologies. That's locked. Nothing here. Hi. Okay, that's where we go. Ah, oh, fuck.
things. Ammo, shotgun. It's a flyer for some kind of musical for kids. Looks like they did it on this stage. This place is empty now, but I'll bet it was packed that day. I love how it's so bright here, or maybe just so dark everywhere else that you can't see the audience at all when you're standing here on stage. What exactly am I doing with the red shoe? One shoe, blood red, it was above the stage. Has hooks on both ends, looks pretty sturdy anyway. I guess I am trying to subvert what happened in the dream, right? Like I turned off the roller coaster, and there was something with this spinning. The uh, by, by this I mean the merry-go-round or whatever. Maybe the chain is to like lock it down or something. I don't know. I don't know about the shoe though. But I think I might need to go back to that ride. It's about Huey the Horse, one of the park's mascots. That's a lot of information that I really don't need right now. Just checking for more supplies. Where's the entrance to this thing? Didn't I go through here? I don't understand how these areas link up. Okay, I do use the chain. Uh, this half is fine. Better do something with the other half, though. Don't... Gotta attach the other end of the chain somewhere. Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. I can go inside this little booth. Some machine gun bullets. There's the power right there, obviously. Switch is off. What's the point of turning it on now? Forget it. Oh, I can attach it to the door handle of this gate. Okay. Is that everything? Yeah, turn on the switch, sure. I see. The whole thing was just to open the door. I guess I didn't go in this way before. Douglas! You're late. Are you hurt? 
Can't move my right leg. It's broken. I'll call an ambulance. Pull it. I don't think one will come. Don't worry. I'm used to it. You. You, you old fool! Getting yourself hurt like that? Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? <sighs> I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Something's gonna happen. Ah, uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is how I got a mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of him. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. You, you remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing his bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like that. <laughs> Well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. Dad's not around anymore, so only I can do this. What are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. I know it's super cheesy, but there's something I kind of like in the dynamic between Douglas and Heather. Just that they're both, they're both people that at this point have basically lost everything that really matters to them. You know, they don't have any family. They're just kind of alone and drifting and confused and don't know what the hell's going on. So they're helping each other out. Even if Douglas did aim a gun at Heather's head, but honestly, that's not too unreasonable. Because I don't think they can complete whatever ritual they've got going on if Heather's dead. I'm sorry, Rabbit. Got crushed. Rabbit's all smashed up. This car seemed pretty heavy. What happened to the person inside? Okay. I need... supplies. What is it? 
I just came by to make sure you were still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah, well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. You just rest. with older guys always getting their legs broken and can't walk anymore. Oh god, there's just like a chunk of meat impaled on the little guardrail there. I don't think there's more supplies here for me. Can I go up here? Yes. Better not, I don't have time for fun and games. Doesn't look like there's anything useful in there anyway. So do I just, like, head back out the way I came in? Wait. That's not the way I came in. Where the hell am I now? Huh. Fortune House. Something on the floor. A symbol drawn. Client Claudia Wolf. So the last name is a Wolf. Why does that sound vaguely familiar? Oh, just because Leonard. Leonard Wolf, right? Because Claudia is their daughter. Uh, request searching for. Then infant, Alessa Gillespie, kidnapped by a man named Harry Mason. No word from police, kidnap location unknown. Old Silent Hill newspaper article. Alessa Gillespie, 7, dead in fire. Links to current case. To be investigated, priority low. Using alias Heather. Neighbors do not know real name. What is she hiding? Yeah, Douglas's notebook. Wait, why did I take it, though? Am I going to use it for something? Ugh. That's a nasty doll head. I want to get this thing out of my inventory as quickly, as quickly as possible. It'd be cute enough on a normal doll, but just a head? Downright creepy. The symbol usually looks unnatural and weird, but here it sort of seems to fit. Still makes me feel creepy though, like someone's peeking into my brain.
What is this? Like, those are dolls over there, I think. Bunch of green, bunch of flowers. Those are dolls, aren't they? Oh, wait a minute. I think this might be what the red shoe is for. It's a snow white doll. It's got its hand outstretched like it's expecting something. Oh, can't use it here. Oh, the doll head? Okay. Do you want something too? Cinderella doll. Oh, Cinderella. Right. You're the one that would want the shoe. Put the red shoe at Cinderella's feet. Did that do something? Does that mean that I won't die when I walk across these tracks? There are photos on the ground. What's this? Shadows? Are these photos of those dolls? Oh. Cinderella on the left and Snow White on the right, but something's wrong. Wait, those weren't there before, on the ground. Were they? Am I supposed to do something with it? dragon protecting its vast treasures. This is the dragon that guards the treasure chests. It's just a prop and not scary at all. Yeah, compared to the things that Heather's seen at this point, that's nothing. Not stay too long here. I don't want to kill everything. Not worth it. Let's use a health drink too. Alright, we're gonna have a lovely read of this while all that's going on. Um, this is the exact sort of notepad that you used to save in the original Silent Hill, by the way. Dahlia's the one who said it. Said that girl was a demon, that she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can be deceiving. When I saw that photo in the hospital basement, I thought, that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? Something's not normal anyway. Nothing good will come of this. But I just can't think of her as a demon. Is it my imagination, or do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Cheryl's what's important to me. Everything else can wait until I've gotten her back. 
There's a date and a signature at the end. It's dated some 17 years earlier and signed by Harry. Dad? Okay, so they wrote that down while they were still searching for Cheryl. Ice cream store, stun gun, battery! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I stun the dog? No, there's no way. Oh. I'm gonna put down some meat. Uh, supplies? Alright, not very hungry. I see. My god, eat! Here, so I guess I'll just sneak in. Hmm. They're breathing. Poison gas? I definitely got hurt by one of them. Wait, that's not enough actually. Another one? There we go. This is the only one not moving. Is it because it was stabbed in the head? Poor horsey. I'm not really sure what I should be doing. Do I need to attack these horses or something? Oh my god. You do. I need to stop them all from moving. Oh, that is weird. As fucked up as it is, this is weirdly comforting because I know that this is the precursor to probably the final boss fight. And I know that I'm not in any danger right now, so it's kind of nice. Oh. Wait, maybe I didn't have to do that. There's a memo. Uh, pinned it to the horse's side with a huge nail. When 13 turns count 4, you will die from their curse. If you wish to escape, there is but one way out. To kill before you are killed, you will be saved by the 12th death.
Okay, so I think I did have to do that. 